joining us we have victorious captain Sana Mir and Katika Kadali. Sana, great victory for you guys today. Commiseration that you won't be making a semi-final, but how good did it feel out there to get that win? We are not losing hope. We are we are uh, now looking at tornadoes matches. So if they if they don't win their matches, we, can, we still have an outside chance. But yeah, um, happy for the team that they have finished on a high. It's it's not easy to keep the team motivated and gelled, and I think credit to each and every player and especially the support staff who have been working so hard to make sure that everyone's confident and motivated. So all all the support support staff from our coach, assistant coach, manager, everyone chipped in, uh, and I think it's a team performance completely. And talking of chipping in, um, young stars have been phenomenal. Um, Geets. Coming to you, you've just really shone throughout this tournament. What's the whole experience been like so far for you? Um, honestly, this tournament is like a dream come true, and it gives me the opportunity to make connections and learn from amazing bowlers like Tash and Shabnam. And it's really helpful to have their input on, and it like helps my development as a cricketer. So this tournament is just hats off a great opportunity for all the youngsters, and we have a lot here. And I'm just so grateful for this experience. And how's it been received back home? Because obviously people don't necessarily associate the USA with cricket, but do you feel like a tournament like this is having an impact back home and showing what it can be like? Yeah, I think this is a, this tournament is a great opportunity for all of the USA players to showcase their skills, and it's definitely stirring up a lot of excitement back home and hopefully growing our national pool as we speak. And also, your USA coach is out here coaching one of the teams. So, what's it like to have her around, but not coaching your side? Um, honestly, it's still a great experience because I know she's still there after this tournament to reflect upon all of our performances. And it's just good knowing that I have access to all six coaches of all six teams if I needed them. Yeah, I think Vibeth, uh, I've really enjoyed her development throughout. She had a very rough day the first day of the tournament behind the stumps and from where she has come through uh, making a world record, it says a lot about her. It says a lot about the coaching staff. Hannah, uh, the assistant coach who is also a wicket keeper, has been working with her. Motashim has been working with her. And the overall team, I think all the senior players, whether it's Elise Vulani, Shabnam Ismail, everyone chipped in making sure that all the juniors feel comfortable. So I think... This is what this tournament is all about and I'm really happy especially that uh, I was talking to Bibeth that this world record will always have this connection that we, we were both a part of it. So yeah, of course, it's, it's always great when your success can match with someone else's but I'm extremely proud of her. She was reading the wrong ones uh, from the hand and a keeper her age, um, I think the way she has held herself throughout the tournament, it's, it's brilliant. And we had Susie Bates in a minute ago, so you definitely got the bragging rights then. You've been working on those leggies with a forfer for you today, including the wicket of Susie Bates. What was that like? Yeah, that's that's great because uh, I've I've had a wicket with uh, wickets with leg spin before, but a wicket like Susie Bates being able to deceive a batter of her caliber, of course, that gives you a lot of. Um, happiness and joy and I was telling her that if only I had taken one wicket going back home I would be happy if that if it was Susie because I really rate her highly as a batter she has been brilliant for for New Zealand and um, yeah I think it's been good uh, I've really enjoyed my bowling today not in the previous games but today I really enjoyed it um, and we've got a few questions that come in from Mohit Shah so um, were you working on your leg spin in the two week Williams a few spin away no, not at all. Uh, actually, when I came back in the last month, when I was working on the off spin, I, my off spin was not landing. <laughs> so I tried the leg spin more and it was landing more. So I just thought in this tournament, I'm going to try that more. Um, and how important is it for a spinner to have a good wicketkeeper or a specialist wicketkeeper like the best? Today? Yeah, I mean, you can see that. Um, a, a, a wicket like... Susie Bates or Atapatu, if you you miss that stumping, basically the match goes away. We we saw yesterday we missed three catches of Flora, uh, and that costed us the match. And and today we were better in the field and the, the keeping was great, so we won. We are on the winning side. So these are the small little things uh, that have a huge impact on the result of the game. Yeah, and how did you turn around your mentality so quickly? last night's loss because it was a tight game last night and then you were back out again in the sun this afternoon. Yeah, I think if you see the overall 
team uh, the team has been playing really well the first match against tornadoes we bowled and fielded extremely well it was the batting we couldn't finish and um, the last uh, match also i think what was really great about the players that they were receptive and open uh, and learning uh, and that's what it's all about if you're learning so um, i th- remember vilani had a chat with motoshim about finishing the game myself also with beth with beth also with hana so i mean all these things when they come together uh, it it makes you very happy and we didn't have a lot of time to turn around so credit to every single person every player um, that who had an impact uh, in the game because and especially like even gabby lewis and tash who were not playing today we had some injuries and they had to come onto the field uh, their commitment for the team that that was really heartening for me as a captain and as a senior player Yeah, and you've got a few youngsters in your team, the likes of Geets here and obviously Jade Allen. How much does it mean to you to be able to help nurture them into their careers? And- yeah, I really, I really, I would have wanted to give more opportunity to both of them. I think they are, uh, they are great talent, especially Geets, the way um, her overall personality and skill is. Because as a player, if you are learning and you are receptive. I think that's one of your biggest quality and she has that quality and she has the pace and the height of a fast bowler. Um I was really happy the way we were able to use her in the first game and how she responded and then the games became tighter and tighter and we were just looking for a win so I I guess we were not able to give them more opportunity but hopefully in the next coming tournaments we'll we'll be able to do that more often. So you'll be returning Hopefully, we'll all be returning. We are looking forward to whenever the fair break is announced next.